Welcome to the world of Slow Scan TV. Hi, I'm Larry Peterson, WB9KMW. SSTV has been with us since the 1950s when a ham developed it. Later, it was used to record Neil Armstrong's first steps on the moon. Let's see how you can get involved. Putting your SSTV station together is a snap. First, you want a good transceiver. This will normally be tuned to 14.230 MHz USB on the 20 meter band for analog SSTV. That's where many transmissions occur. One word of caution, SSTV is 100% duty cycle. Be sure to adjust your rig to 30 or 50 watts so you don't smoke the finals. Next, you'll want a computer and load it with free MMSSTV software and configure. Finally, you need to connect the two with an interface. I use Rig Blaster. Signal Link is also popular, or you may want to just connect with audio cables, perhaps with some isolation circuit. There are many examples on the internet. When you are done, it may look like my station. Getting on the air is simple. Just select a template, then add one of your saved pictures, and hit TX to transmit. Did I go too fast? No worry. I have plenty of information on my ham website at www.wb9kmw.com. See the SSTV 20 meter section. Be sure to read the QSO Tips for Beginners article. Check out that pesky slant tutorial. I also have a few how-to pieces that might help you. The most popular part of my site is the SSTV cams. These are pictures recently received by stations around North America and posted to the internet. It's a great way to check propagation. Also it aids you in copy of weak signals at your QTH. SSTV is easy to use and it's a lot of fun. I hope you'll join the fraternity of SSTV users and I hope I'll see you on 20 meters.